Hello everyone, welcome back to Off the Water. Today we got a little show and tell story about the Shimano Oshia Jigger 2000 in RPG. So for all of you geeks that are out there, that is the setup that, or not the setup, but the fishing reel. And the reason why I just want to talk about it is because, or the reason for the title is because it's only been able to get used once. Like it was truly tested once in its existence of being here in my hands. And it's just kind of sad. And uh, that's the reason why I just want to kind of show it off because y'all rarely ever get to see this fishing reel right here, mainly because we just don't have the type of water that is needed in order to truly put her through the paces. And I mean, just taking a look at her, look at this handle right there, check that out. Isn't that just crazy? That is a lot of firepower, that is beefed up. I mean, you got a really good grip. So let's turn to the uh, computer screen right behind me. We're gonna go over to the website that you can go to to possibly purchase this if you're interested in something like this. I don't know why you would, especially if you're my Texas audience because you really can't use it unless you go abroad. But nonetheless, we're gonna turn over here and uh, let's check it out. So I purchased it from Digitaka and that's a Japanese online retailer. I'm not sponsored by those guys, but just letting y'all know if you want some Japanese market uh, equipment, you can go to this website and they got super fast shipping. Um, here we go. So for the Shimano, here we are, the Oshia, Oshia Jigger right there. And let's go down. We're gonna find the 2000 NRPG. Check that out right there. So everything is in like Japanese money, but the conversion rate for the US, right there, $438. Again, the title, Is She Worth It? I'll let y'all decide. I already know what my decision is. But um, yeah, that's her. Isn't it just gorgeous? Let's take a look at some of these photos. Uh, that's okay, free shipping. That's a plus, right? Especially if you're gonna buy one. Uh, yeah, just, Phenomenal, look at that. Completely gorgeous. And she still looks just like that because there is no corrosion. That's another good thing about this one. It's not made in Malaysia or anywhere else. This fishing reel is made in Japan. So you, you're paying for a super quality product. Um, let's get a little bit more information. We're gonna go over to Shimano's website. There we go. Google translate it for me. There you go. It translated it. So um, I'm not going to read that. If you, you care to check it out, well, just pause the video and then you can read it. But what we want to find out really quick is the specs because whenever I was going to uh, do my trip down to Central America, they said bring something that is really beefy you don't want to get outgunned by the caliber of fish that they have out that way and they've got some really big fish but i just kind of feel shortchanged because this right here was more than enough but i decided to take another big gun from shimano's lineup of spinning reels and i really didn't need it so i spent some big big money on this once in a lifetime trip which hopefully is not going to turn into a once in a lifetime style trip because I don't know, I'll let y'all know how MDLR Fishing does, the other channel. <laughs> if it starts to bring in some big money, maybe we can start doing some of those better, more exotic trips. But um, yeah, let's go back over here. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had the tools to get the job done and I didn't get spooled. So let's see how much drag it is because honestly, I rarely ever pick this darn thing up and I can't even remember, so let's check it out. For the 2000 NRPG, it's a five to one gear ratio, 10 kilograms of drag. I don't know what that equates to from kilograms to uh, pounds, but it is a lot. Trust me, it is. Um, we've also got eight bearings and one roller bearing. And uh, that's pretty much all that matters because I'm not gonna begin to try to convert their PE line rating. So they just they don't have like test pound the way we do. It's just a PE rating. But what I do have on it is 30 pounds um, Power Pro. 
and it's approximately 200 to 250 yards. So could I get spooled? Theoretically, yes, if like a marlin bit and, uh, you know, that would have been one heck of a, a good fight. Maybe one of their big ginormous sharks, but then at that point, I'd probably cut my line if I get started getting towed. Uh, I would have just cried like a baby, wilted like a flower. But uh, nonetheless, um, that's what I purchased it for. I know this is kind of cheating, but I kind of want to give y'all a glimpse of the only time we ever got to use this thing. So let's turn right back over to the computer. I hope you enjoy this little bit of footage. Is today going to be the day? <laughs> That's the question, right? Running out of opportunities. Two more days fishing left. Coming out here as hopeful as I was on day one. It's go time for the kayak right by the water. Getting them up now. That right there, circles under the, the conquest oh, went yeah. to Panama. Huge I used it for catching my bait. Definitely don't want this guy. Puts up one mean fight though. Uh, look at that. Bonita. That is a huge Bonita. Pliers. We got him unhooked. And throw him straight back down. 87 feet. I'm not going to let him go all the way down though. We'll keep him right above the top because that Cabrera or Rooster, whatever it is, may just grab him and run right through the box. I think I got something on. Yeah, definitely have to have something on. Let's engage the drag. Oh! And then engage the spool. And we're bit up. We are definitely on. <laughs> oh, the drag is screaming. Oh yeah, that's a puller for you. Just completely turn the kayak around. Uh, that's a puller. That's a puller, <laughs> Oh my God, just being able to relive your trips. That's why I save all my trips. And he's running too. Oh, I hope this is my rooster. Please. It's the beauty of editing. You ain't gotta watch the whole boring fight. To y'all it would be boring, but to me, oh, yeah. oh, I could watch the entire thing as it happened. The leader already? There's no way this is a rooster. Oh God, yes. Got me a rooster, baby! Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Billy. Hold on. He ain't in the boat yet. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, that's it. We're going to stop it right there. Okay. So if you care to watch that trip, it's going to be linked in the video description down below. I highly recommend you go over there, especially if you're hard up for entertainment right now. Um, is this fishing reel worth the money that I spent on it? No, because it doesn't even really get to get used and it's like one of those uh, reels that's meant for a tiny rod where you're just doing a lot of up and down vertical jigging um, i can use it out there at our jetties maybe if i'm on the kayak but the deepest that we've got is if i'm lucky 30 feet and that's the freeport jetties you'd have to go like all the way down towards the end of the galveston jetties and the north one is the only one that i've ever went to the end and uh, it's just, you don't have the depth. I mean, I could go after Bull Reds and Jack Crevals, uh, but it's not meant for like casting. You could probably get like maybe a 20, 25 yard cast out of this before bird nesting. Hopefully like it, it would never bird nest because it doesn't gotta go through a level wind or anything like that. It's just strictly your thumb. And as y'all saw through the photos that we went through really quick, um, it's, it's just not meant for like a bait caster style. Uh, very narrow spool to be able to control everything. It's all one tight little package, super sexy fishing reel. 
but definitely not worth the money that I spent on it because it's just here collecting dust. It's a nice icebreaker conversation starter piece, especially whenever a company who loves fishing comes in and sees the office and they're like, oh, the fishing reels and stuff like that. When you see something like this and then you see a handle, whew, they're like, that is a big one. I'm like, you're darn right. What are we talking about? But um, when they see this, it's just, uh, it looks so beautiful. And I want it to have a little bit of the limelight. So that's why I'm doing the show and tell. Hopefully y'all like videos like this. Maybe if you do, I will figure some type of a platform out and we'll, we'll just talk about it a little more, show you how the reels have been used, like their magic shining moment and like just the being of their existence. This is why we purchased this fishing reel and uh, like just some of the best catches. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, am I gonna get rid of it? No, not at all. Because if I ever do get to travel abroad and I need some serious firepower, this girl is definitely gonna get the call. So again, go check out the, that series of videos and uh, you'll get to see what it was like in Panama and the very extreme firepower that I took with me. A Shimano Stella went out there. I purchased that, but had to take it back because Cabela's ruined it before I went on a trip, which is a long story. I don't even think I put that in the video. So just a little bit of behind the scenes of what went on out there. I don't think the Stella made it into the video, but if it did, just know that I don't own that Stella anymore. What I did was took it back and then I purchased two GoPros, which are the Hero 6s that I film from right now because the Hero 4 that I used to film with until we went to Panama, yeah, that's down there at the bottom of the drink. So Davy Jones is uh, filming it up. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for tagging along today and uh, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. For those of y'all not subscribed to the channel, do so if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, well then just let me know by way of a comment. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much again, and I will see y'all next time when we're off the water.